the sugar and go. She's my melon in my row. She's my melon in my row. Fly and she knows that I am feeling her soul. She's my melon in my row. My, my melon in my row. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Melanie Monroe. Another day, more YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about the Bean Squad, Billy and Ivani Bentley. They are in deep water. When I say deep water, y'all, I can't even justify how deep this damn water is that they are in. They are in hot water. The Bean Squad has been federally indicted. I don't know, y'all. Let's just get into the video. Those of you who are not familiar with The Beam Squad, The Beam Squad is a YouTube channel run by a couple named Billy and Ivani. They have an estimated net worth of $800,000. The content on their channel is mainly prank videos, challenges, spilling their relationship teas, sharing their personal beliefs, and sometimes vlogs, which include their children, Messiah and Melly. They currently live in Miami, Florida. The channel has over 1.4 million subscribers as of 2019 and has accumulated over 150 million views so far. In a day, it gets an average of 200,000 views from different sources. Uh, the couple also makes extra income from their venture as a stock and forex trader. They have been doing this for a couple of years and have been able to generate a considerably steady income and enabling them to afford luxury trips all over the country. Back in 2014 and 2015, Billy and Ivani were a part of a pyramid scheme called Wake Up Now. Wake Up Now was a multi-level marketing scheme based in Provo, Utah that sold products and services focused on health and financial management. It was founded in 2009 by Troy Mulholston. The company ceased operations in the United States on February 16th, 2015. I'll soon be F4, and today's tip of the day is to get out your comfort zone. Whatever you, whatever you, you're, you're fear of, whatever you're scared to do, that's what you should be doing. If you're scared to do videos in front of a camera like I'm doing right now, that's what you should be doing. And that's my tip of the day. That's my tip of the day, and I'm gonna bring on one of my um, top leaders. Her name is Kiara, and she's gonna give you her tip of the day. Let's get it. Hello guys, my name is Kiara. Um, my tip of the day is just to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, who else will? You want to believe in yourself enough to build another leader. You don't want to just be the one in your business having to do all the training. You want to believe in your ability to multiply the same thing in which was installed into you. So believe in yourself and believe that you are a leader and you can build another leader. Um, this is my, my other teammate slash business partner, Deborah. Here she go. Hi guys, my name is Deborah. I'm an F3 in this business, soon to be F4. Laundry flow, about to go to the laundry. We got a big week ahead of us, a big month, a few months ahead of us. We're going to Tally, Temple tomorrow, Miami the day after, and we're staying in Miami. Then I'm going to Georgia in July. I have a big week coming. But um, the tip of the day, guys, is stay motivated, stay active stay consistent you know if you feel it like if you're doing something while you're doing it imagine the outcome being what you want so feel like you're getting what you want of, out of what you're doing stay active this video was brought to you by CarMarshall.com. CarMarshall is an online car buying service that acts as your personal automotive negotiator. Finding cars for sale in your area is easy with our simple online platform. Just enter your zip code in the search bar and click find used car or news car or both. Then select your two most preferred cars, submit a brief form, and they'll get to work for you. So be sure to it check is out CarMarshall.com for that amongst all your vehicle the three purchasing. individuals that were indicted on January 23rd. Um, Billy and Ivani were one of the three that were indicted, and it reads as so. Three individuals indicted for conspiracy to commit theft of government property and aggravated identity theft. United States Attorney Maria Chapa Lopez announces the unsealing of sixteen of a 16-count indictment charging Deborah Pierre, Billy Altador, and Ivani Lewis with conspiracy to commit theft of government property. Theft of government property and aggravated theft identity theft. Each faces a maximum of penalty of 10 years in federal prison for each theft charge. 
five years imprisonment on each conspiracy charge and a minimum mandatory consecutive penalty of two years for aggravated identity theft charge. The indictment also notifies the individuals that the United States is seeking a money judgment of $91,749.30, the proceeds of the alleged conspiracy. According to the indictment, Lewis and Altador conspired amongst themselves and with others to commit stolen identity refund fraud. The conspirators used stolen identities to file false tax returns, then directed the fraudulently obtained tax refunds to be deposited into accounts that they controlled. In addition, they activated debit cards and bank accounts using the stolen identities and received the fraudulently claimed tax refunds in those accounts. Lois and Altador and Pierre are also conspired amongst themselves and with others to use stolen identities to access the My Social Security system and redirect Social Security benefit payments to accounts controlled by conspirators. An indictment is merely a formal charge that a defendant defendant has committed one or more violations of federal criminal law and every defendant is presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty. The case was investigated by the Social, Social Security Administration, Office of the Inspector General, the Internal Revenue Service, Criminal Investigation, and the Department of Treasury Office of the Inspector General. It will be prosecuted by Special Assistant United States Attorney Suzanne Hewler. So it is alleged that this indictment was filed on January 23rd, 2019 at 314 p.m. And the conspiracy reads as follows. Beginning on an unknown date, but at least as early as in or around January 2014 and continuing through and including or in or around March 25th in the Middle District of Florida and elsewhere, Ivani Lewis and Billy Altador did knowingly and willfully combine, conspire, confederate, and agree with other persons known and known to grand jury to commit certain offenses specifically. A. Knowingly and willfully steal, embezzle, and convert to their own use and the use of others more than $1,000 in the United States courtesy with intent to deprive the owner of the use benefit of the property so taken said funds being the property of the United States in the form of tax refund payments in violation of 18 USC and 641. E. During and in relation to the crime of theft of government property to knowingly transfer, possess, and use without lawful authority a means of identification of another person in violation of 18U.S.C. and 102A 8A. Manners and means. The manner and means by which the conspiracy conspirators sought to accomplish the objects of the conspiracy include included among others the following a it was part of the conspiracy that the conspirators both known and unknown to the grand jury would and did obtain personal identifiable identifiable information including names dates of birth and social security numbers of various individuals b it was further part of the conspiracy that the conspirators both known and unknown to the grand jury would and did use the PII to electronically file fraudulent federal income tax returns in order to generate and obtain tax refunds to which they were not entitled. C. It was further part of the conspiracy that the conspirators, both known and unknown to the grand jury, would and did direct that fraudulently obtained tax refunds to to be deposited into accounts controlled by the conspirators. D. It was further part of the conspiracy that the conspirators, both known and unknown to the grand jury, would and did direct that the fraudulently obtained tax refunds be deposited into reloadable debit cards. 
It was further part of the conspiracy that the conspira- conspirators, both known and unknown to the grand jury, would and did perform acts and make statements to hide and conceal the scheme and artifacts and the acts committed and executed in furtherance thereof. D. Overt Acts. In furtherance of and to affect the objectives of the conspiracy, the following overt acts among others were committed in the Middle District of Florida and elsewhere. On or about the the date set forth below, each of which constitutes a separate of over act, defendants Lewis and Altador alone and together with others known and unknown caused fraudulent federal income tax returns to be filed in the names of the victims identified by their initials below without the victim's knowledge or consent. B. On or about the date set forth below, each of which cons- constitutes a separate overt act, defendants Lois and Altador alone and together with others known and unknown caused fraudulently obtained tax refunds, each being the property of the United States Treasury in the amount of more than $1,000 to, to be deposited into a bank account controlled by Lewis. C. On or about the date set forth below, each of which constitutes a separate overt act, defendant Altador alone and together with others, known and unknown, caused fraudulently obtained tax refunds, each being the property of the United States Treasury, each being more than $1,000, and each being issued to victims identified by their initials below, to be loaded onto a reloadable debit card under the control of the conspirators, which, without the victim's knowledge or consent, receiving tax refunds listed in the listed amounts. Count two, the Social Security Administration, SSA, was an agency of the United States. Two, A, means of identification, was any name or number that could be used alone or in conjunction with any other information to identify a specific person, including the name, social security number, or a date of birth to the person. My Social Security, my SSA, provided a single point of access to users of Social Security Administration electronic service. My SSA allowed users to view, update, and correct the user's existing Social Security records. Four, Deborah Pierre, Billy Altador, and Ivani Lewis were residents of the Middle District of Florida. B, the conspiracy. Beginning on an unknown date, but at least as early as in or around January 2014 and continuing through and including in or around March 2015 in the Middle District of Florida and elsewhere, Ivani Lu- Ivani Lewis, Billy Altador, and Deborah Pierre did knowingly and willfully combine, conspire, confederate, and agree with other persons known and unknown to the grand jury to commit a certain offenses specifically. A. Knowingly and willfully steal, embezzle, and convert to their own use and the use of others more than $1,000 in United States currency with the intent to deprive the owner of the use and benefit of the property so taken said funds being the property of the United States in the form of Social Security benefits in violation of 18 U.S.C. and 641. 